Welcome. Let's talk about multiple conditions. We learn how to manipulate conditions by using the conditional operators, and in a way, we're able to combine two conditions using the AND or the OR operators. Now, what we want to learn now is what happens when we have many conditions. I'm talking about like five or six or seven, and we need to chain them in a combination of multiple conditional operators. For example, let's say I want to say something like this and that or that, but not that. See how I use and, or, and not all in the same statement? We have done something similar in the past with the arithmetic operators. So we were able to chain multiple arithmetic operations in one single statement or in one single expression. So instead of just saying 5 plus 7, you're able to do something more complex like 5 plus 7 times 3 divided by 5 minus 7 plus 3 d You know, you can keep on going. So this applies also to the conditional operators. True and true or false or true and true not true or false. You know, again, I'm just making stuff up on the go. So the point here is that we can combine the same way. And just like in the arithmetic operators, we had to take into account the order of the operations. So, a, the, so the conditional operators also have an order of operation that we have to follow. With the arithmetic operations, we had the order of parentheses, then multiplication and division, whichever one came first, then addition and subtraction, whichever one came first. Well, with the conditional operators, we have something very similar. We first have parentheses. That's right, we can use parentheses, and we'll look at a few examples in a bit. Then we look at the not operator, then the end operator, then the or operator. With that being said, the order of your conditional operations within the expression is very important. So let's take a look at a few examples just to get a gist of it. Here we are where we left off last time. So what I want to do is I don't want to delete this code that we wrote because I want to build upon it on future videos as we learn new things. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit enter. I'm just going to make some space and I'm just going to ignore everything above it. Yeah, it'll still run, but we're just going to ignore it. And here I'll just put a comment that says for multiple conditions video, right? Things just about this video. And what I want to do is I want to create some Boolean expressions so that we can see how the order of operations matter. So I'm going to create a variable called bool, and then it's going to be result. And in there, I'm going to, I'm going to store the value of result. And then I want to show what that value is by just you know showing it on the screen. So let's make some expressions. So in here, what I want to do is I'm going to say something like not false or true and false. Oh, and false. Right, so I'm just I just made it up right now, and just so that we can see what happens. So again, the order of operation says that we have to do what parentheses goes first. Well, we don't have parentheses. Okay, so the next one is the not operator. We have a not operator right here. So this will be not false. Well, not false is what it's true. So now this becomes true. Okay, and then the next thing is to do what is to do the end operator. Well, that will be true and false. True and false is false. So let, let's go step one. So let's just right here. Step number one will give us what? True or true and false, right? That's step number one. This became true, okay? Step number two would be what? It would be to do the end operation. So true and false, well, that's going to be false. So that's going to leave us with true or tr uh, false, right? So this became false. So, so actually, I should say this became false. So here it is. And then the last thing is what? True or false? Well, that's true. So step three would be true or uh, oh, just true. It's going to be true, right? True or false is true. And now when I run this, I should have the value of one. So one is for true, zero for false, right? So again, we first do the not, and we get this. Then we do the and, and we come to this. And then lastly, we do the or, which just gives us the last value. Now, let's insert a just a little parenthesis somewhere and see how the value changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this, and I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to add a parenthesis around this, and then in the end, just to see what happens, right? So now the first thing that we're going to do is we have to do the parentheses. So step one, we have to go through the parentheses, right? So we, nothing really changes. We have to look inside the parentheses first. So within the parentheses, we have to do the true, I mean, sorry, we have to do the end operator first. So in here, step number one would actually leave the not, and it will be false or, 
and we do the AND operation. Well, true and false. What is that? That's false. So here we're going to have false. Now we go to step number two, and this is going to be what? Okay, this is going to be uh, false or false, which is false. Okay, and then the last thing will be not false. Well, that would be step number three, which would just give us true. Okay, that answer came out to be the same. Let's just move more parentheses. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to grab it again. And let's run it so we can see it. This will also come out to be true, right? Here we go, true. So let's do it again. We want to we want to make this false by adding parentheses. This is a nice exercise. So you can learn how the 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 order of operations work. You know, put some statement and then just play with parentheses until you make it to, and you have to understand how you make it false or true by adding these parentheses, and you get some practice on how uh, these order of operations work. So now let's change this parentheses from here to here. And so now here, what's going to happen is first we have to do the parentheses. So this is going to be the inside. So now false or true, well, that's going to be what? That's going to be true. So step, oop, step number one is going to be not false or true, which is true, okay, and false. Then step number two is going to look at what? Well, it's now the not operator. So not true, that's false. Okay, that's false. And the end operation stays. And the last step will be to do the end, right? Which that will give us false and false, that's false. So now we actually made it false by putting the parentheses here. So now let's run this. And this should give us a false. Well, there you go, false. So that's great. Let's do one more where I'm going to add one more parenthesis just for fun, just for funsies. So I'm going to grab this. And well, actually, there really, well, there is, there is a way. So I'm going to put this here and I'm going to add another parenthesis here and here, right? So we first do parentheses, which means we have to do all this mess. And within that mess, we have to do this mess. So step number one is very similar to this step, right? We have to do false or true. So I'm just going to copy and paste. So we have to do this steps first. False or true, well, that is true, but we have a parentheses here, right? Now, in the previous example, we first did the not because it was next to do the not. But now we're actually going to do what? The end because we're inside this parentheses. So for step number two, we're actually going to say not it's going to be true and false. Well, that's false, right? So here, true and false. That's false. And then the last step will be what? Well, not false. That's true, right? And so now my result went from being false by me simply adding this, this outer parentheses and having these inner parentheses inside of the outer parentheses. That's what they call inner and outer. Yeah, I know, I know. So this will be what? This will be a one. So notice that you know, you're able to do whatever you want, just how you do with the arithmetic operations. And of course, where you put parentheses, where you put the and, whether this is and and this is, whether this is or or this is and or you should flip them, which should have not, this is dependent upon the conditions that you're making, right? You have to make a decision. You, you make that decision in your head based on certain conditions. So you formulate this um, expression of conditional operations to fit the logic that you're trying to solve. So I suggest, uh, again, as I've mentioned in the previous videos, think about decisions that you make on your everyday life, right? And then think about what are the conditions that you consider to come to that conclusion. And now, in the previous video, you were able to just simply think about two conditions and use and or 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 not. But now you may have five conditions that you have to consider. Well, when you use those five conditions, what kind of expression do you make? How many ands, how many ors, and in what order do you make them? And that, depending on how you ask the question, then you will come to a particular decision. If you ask the question like this, then of course you would go to a true decision. If you make it like this, you would go to a false decision. So practice this with just, oh, just general decisions that you make in your life, such as simple stuff like, what am I going to eat today? Where should I go today? Uh, all these kinds of things. Uh, think about it. How, you come with, how do you come up with these expressions and how um, these expressions, the order of operations matter for the results and the decision that you're going to make based on this condition?
If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. If you found this video useful, if you learned anything and you don't mind, leave a like. If you're new to this channel, check out the series, check out the channel. And if you like what you see, subscribe, be safe, and peace out.